What is going on, ladies and gents? Welcome to VV Investments. On today's episode, we're talking about the company Blackbird, who David is going to be speaking with on the 20th of this month. So if you guys are interested, make sure to stay tuned. We discuss who they are, what they do, as well as a sneak peek of the exact conversation in this episode. So a couple days ago now, it was announced that David is going to be speaking at a Blackbird event on the 20th of September. So I wanted to dedicate today's video to discuss exactly who that company is, as well as some of the details around the exact conversation. So I actually managed to find part of the interview that's been transcribed. So I don't know if this is going to be a live event or if it's just something that's been pre-recorded. But we're going to start off talking about who Blackbird is, what the company actually does, and then I'm going to round the video off by sharing a little sneak peek in terms of what you guys can expect for the 20th of September. So with that being said, let's kick things off. So Blackbird is going to be an investment firm based in Australia and New Zealand. So they invest in every type of technology from software to space. And in their exact words, we believe that giant leaps forward are made by a passionate few. So we invest in founders, not sectors or stages. So sectors would mean things like hospitality, finance, healthcare, uh, where stages would be referring to stages of a business. And then they also say that our companies are united only by their ambition to tackle the world's greatest problems led by founders who are doing their life's work. Now, beside those descriptions over on their website, they're going to have this photo posted. And keep in mind, I will link their website down below for anyone who wants to take a look themselves. So they say we back generational ambition with generational belief by raising funds investing in the best startup companies all the way through their journey from idea to beyond IPO. IPO is going to stand for initial public offering, or it's when a company originally issues their stock and goes public. They also say their portfolio is worth over $7 billion and includes some of the most successful Aussie and Kiwi startups, including Canva, Zooks, Safety Culture, Culture Amp, and Holter. Canva is going to be the biggest company I know on this list. In fact, it's actually the company that I use to create the slide that you're looking at. They have one of the most successful startup stories that I've ever heard of. Uh, don't quote me on this, but if I remember correctly, they became a billion dollar company within their first three years, which is when a company is still considered a startup company. And aside from just the companies that are listed here, uh, Canva is going to be the biggest company that I'm aware of, at least that I saw in their portfolio. So we're over on their website right now and they have a section that promotes their core values. So I thought we'd walk through these real quick. They start off by saying that Blackbird is a startup and will always be a startup. Their styles, their office, their events and communications all relate to the founders that they back. They say that founders come first and that they're the reason for being. We work for our founders, they don't work for us. And when I saw that, my eyes widened because, you know, it was a bit of a full circle moment for me. Uh, my first ever mentor, that was something that they taught me. They said that, you know, when you run a business, your employees do not work for you, you work for them. So when I read that, it gave me a bit of a smile. They say we make high conviction decisions after careful research and debate, but they also trust their instincts built up over years of pattern matching. They invest for the long term. Building iconic businesses takes the best part of a decade or longer. We don't plan for exits. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the phrase, if you have a plan B, you're never 100% focused on plan A. That's pretty much what they're saying right there. They say that we don't need to know all the answers to make an investment decision. We look to maximize the upside rather than minimize the risks. There's always going to be a level of risk involved with any investment. And they round things off by saying that everything we do, we do with integrity in a way that we'd be happy to tell our kids about. Now, in terms of their portfolio, I really cannot go through all of them, guys. There's a ton. They actually even have like a search bar to search companies within their portfolio. But in terms of some total numbers, they've invested in over 100 plus startups, totaling over 150 founders and over 6,800 plus operations. And I do want to be clear here for anyone who does click the link down below to take a look at the website. Keep in mind that all of the companies within their portfolio are going to be New Zealand or Australian companies. So here's a little sneak peek for you guys. So we know that David is now going to be speaking on the 20th of September with BlackRock, but roughly a month ago, 
they actually posted a sneak peek on their website about what we can expect in the conversation. So I will also make sure to provide the link for this specific article in the description as well for you guys to read this. I'm not going to read the entire thing, but as you guys can see, this was published back on the 3rd of August. So right here it says, we are stoked to sit down with David and delve into his extraordinary career, innovative mindset, and unique experiences. Consider this a sneak peek of the captivating conversation you can expect on September 20th. And then it goes into some actual questions that he was asked in the interview. So I'm going to quickly read through this and to avoid you guys just looking at a bunch of text on the screen, I'll make sure to put something on screen for you guys to watch. Uh, but we're going to start off with the first question here coming from Blackbird. They ask, if you were to summarize your career in a single sentence, what would you say? David says, and I quote, as an entrepreneur, my career journey has been a transformative eye opener, leading me on a full circle path back to where it all began. The next question coming from Blackbird, you've delved into a lot of different industries. Are there any common threads? I think that's supposed to say trends uh, in how you approach innovation and creativity when entering a new market. David says, I believe in fostering a culture of curiosity, collaboration, and openness to new ideas, remain agile and adaptable, ready to pivot and iterate as we learn and grow, ultimately driving our success and continued impact in the markets we enter. Blackbird then asks, how has your love of collecting influenced how you approach product development and the customer experience for collectors? So everything that I'm about to say is coming from David. As an avid collector, I understand collectors' passions and emotional connection with their favorite brands and intellectual properties. This understanding fuels my drive to create products that resonate deeply with their user base and cater to their specific desires and interests. In order to build a sticky product for users, I believe in closely monitoring market trends and consumer behavior, which allows us to stay ahead of the curve and make informed decisions. By keeping a keen eye on emerging trends, we can create innovative and relevant offerings that capture the imagination of collectors and provide them with unique sought after experiences. Moreover, my own love for collecting has instilled in me the importance of community building. Collecting is often a social activity and collectors are passionate about sharing their interests with like minded individuals. Therefore, we place great emphasis on fostering a strong and inclusive community of collectors within the VV platform. We encourage interaction, engagement, and collaboration among collectors, creating a space where they can connect, exchange ideas, and celebrate their shared interests with authenticity and trust. Whew, let me breathe here. So Blackbird then asks, what is the biggest lesson you learned as a founder? And David says the importance of resilience and adaptability. He says, building and leading a startup is a challenging journey filled with ups and downs, unforeseen obstacles, and constant uncertainty. Throughout this process, I've come to understand that setbacks and failures are inevitable, but it's how we respond to them that truly defines our success. And that's so true. Falling is okay, but just make sure that you're falling forwards. He says, the ability to bounce back from failures, learn from mistakes, and adapt to changing circumstances is crucial. Being open to feedback, embracing change, and continuously iterating on our strategies and approaches have been instrumental in our growth and evolution as a company. Also, the value of building a strong and cohesive team. Surrounding myself with talented individuals who share the same vision and passion has been key to overcoming challenges and driving our collective success. The power of collaboration and a supportive company culture cannot be underestimated. And actually, the more that I'm reading this, I'm starting to realize that maybe these aren't exact quotes from David. Regardless, this is clearly a form of dialogue, so this is what he said. And then here's the last question they have stated. Thinking about the current New Zealand startup community, what is one thing you're excited to discuss and learn about at Sunrise? Discuss. Oh, so maybe this is a live event. I, I don't know. Maybe this was just like a little pre-interview before the uh, actual event takes place. But David says that he's eagerly looking forward to meeting and learning from like-minded entrepreneurs at Sunrise. He says the one thing that excites me about the current New Zealand startup community is the potential for collaboration and knowledge sharing, leveraging local resources, talents, and networks. And then he says, I'm keen to delve into the ways in which founders have navigated the global landscape and have tapped into international markets from New Zealand. Ladies and gents, that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. So that is BlackRock. That's who they are, what they do, as well as a little sneak peek in terms of what we can expect for the 20th. Now, after reading that dialogue, I'm not entirely sure exactly how this event's going to be ran. 
I did mention in our previous episode that they're selling tickets for 240 New Zealand dollars. So if they do end up releasing some sort of video after the event, then I'll make sure to recap that for you guys as well. But if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see in a future episode. And as for our next, I'll catch you then.